Heat death, also known as the Big Freeze, is a theory in physics that suggests the universe will eventually reach a state where it can no longer sustain any form of life. To put it simply, heat death is the idea that the universe will continue to expand, spreading matter and energy so thin that everything becomes uniformly cold and lifeless. The concept is rooted in the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy or disorder in a closed system will always increase over time. In the context of the universe, this means that over incredibly long periods, all energy will be evenly distributed, leaving no room for the complex structures we associate with life and activity. Imagine boiling water on a stove. When you first turn on the heat, the water is full of energy, bubbling vigorously. Over time, if you were to remove the heat and let the water sit, it would eventually cool down to room temperature and become still. This is a small scale analogy of what heat death predicts for the universe. Right now we have stars burning brightly, galaxies swirling with activity, and countless energetic processes occurring. But as the universe expands, these processes will gradually wind down. Eventually stars will exhaust their fuel and burn out. Galaxies will drift apart, and black holes will slowly evaporate through a process known as Hawking radiation. In the end, the universe will be left with a vast cold expanse where particles are so spread out that they rarely interact. This final state is known as thermodynamic equilibrium, where everything is uniformly cold and inert. The term Heat death captures the chilling notion that the vibrant energetic universe we know will one day fade into a state of eternal stillness and darkness. To understand the science behind heat death, we need to dive into some fundamental principles of physics, particularly the second law of thermodynamics. This law states that in a closed system, entropy, or the measure of disorder, always increases over time. In simpler terms, energy in the universe will always spread out and become more evenly distributed. This concept is central to the idea of heat death, where the universe reaches a point of maximum entropy, leaving no room for energy differences that could drive processes like star formation or life. One key factor driving this process is the ongoing expansion of the universe. Ever since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding, causing galaxies to move away from each other. As space stretches, the energy within it spreads thinner and thinner. Picture a drop of ink dispersing in a glass of water. Eventually, the ink is so diluted that you can barely see it. In a similar way, the energy in the universe becomes more diluted over time, contributing to the increase in entropy. Another critical aspect is the fate of stars. Stars are essentially massive nuclear reactors, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing energy in the process. However, stars don't last forever. They eventually burn through their fuel and die, often leaving behind white dwarfs, neutron stars, or black holes. Over an extremely long period, even these remnants will decay. Black holes, for instance, will slowly lose mass through Hawking radiation a theoretical process proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking. This means that, given enough time, even the densest objects in the universe will evaporate, leaving behind a cold, dark void. The cooling of the universe also plays a significant role. As stars and galaxies cease their energetic activities, the universe will continue to cool down. Cosmic microwave background radiation the afterglow of the Big Bang is already cooling as the universe expands. This gradual cooling trend will continue until the universe reaches a uniformly low temperature. When this happens, thermal energy will be evenly spread out and no more heat-driven processes will occur. In summary, the science behind heat death revolves around the relentless march of entropy, the expansion of space, the life cycle of stars, and the cooling of the universe. These factors together paint a picture of a future 
where the universe is a vast, dark, and cold expanse, devoid of the energy differences necessary for any form of life or activity. When we talk about the timeline to heat death, we're looking at an almost unimaginably vast stretch of time. It's not something that will happen within our lifetimes or even within the lifespan of our planet or galaxy. We're talking about a timeline that spans trillions of years into the future. Let's start with the present and move forward. Right now, our universe is about 13.8 billion years old. It's still relatively young in the grand scheme of things, with stars forming, galaxies colliding, and black holes consuming matter. But this activity won't last forever. In roughly five billion years, our own sun will exhaust its nuclear fuel and expand into a red giant, eventually shedding its outer layers and leaving behind a white dwarf. Fast forward to about 100 trillion years from now, and star formation will have essentially ceased. The raw materials needed to create new stars, primarily hydrogen, will have been used up. Existing stars will slowly burn out, leaving behind white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. This period, known as the degenerate era, will be marked by the gradual fading of the last stars. As we move further into the future, up to a time scale of about 10 or 30 years, even the remnants of stars will begin to disappear. White dwarfs will cool and fade into black dwarfs, and black holes will start to evaporate via Hawking radiation. This slow process will take an astonishing amount of time, but eventually, black holes will vanish completely. Beyond 10, 100 years, we enter the dark era. By this point, all matter as we know it will have decayed into the most basic particles, and the universe will be a cold, dark, and empty expanse. Particles will be so spread out that interactions will be incredibly rare, and no significant energy transfers will occur. This is the ultimate end state described by heat death, a universe in which entropy has reached its maximum and no thermodynamic processes can take place. This timeline shows the gradual but inevitable march toward a lifeless, inert universe. Each stage takes us further from the vibrant, dynamic cosmos we know today and closer to a future where everything is cold, dark, and unchanging. It's a sobering thought, but it underscores the incredible and intricate balance of forces that currently allow our universe and life within it to exist. The concept of heat death carries some profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. First and foremost, it suggests that all things, including the cosmos itself, are subject to an inevitable decline. This idea challenges our natural inclination to view the universe as an eternal and unchanging backdrop for human existence. Instead, Heat death presents a future where all processes cease and the universe reaches a state of eternal stillness. One major implication is the ultimate fate of life and civilization. If heat death is our destiny, then life as we know it cannot persist indefinitely. All energy sources will be depleted and no new energy will be available to support any form of life this means that even the most advanced civilizations, regardless of their technological prowess, would eventually face extinction. It forces us to consider the temporality of existence and the limits of human ingenuity in the face of cosmic inevitability. Another implication is philosophical. Heat death raises questions about the meaning and purpose of life in a universe doomed to decay. If the universe will one day become a cold, dark expanse, devoid of life and activity, what significance does our existence hold? Some might find this perspective nihilistic, while others may see it as a call to cherish and make the most of the time we have. It can also prompt us to reflect on the nature of existence and the ways in which we find meaning in a transient universe. Scientifically, 
The idea of heat death pushes researchers to explore the fundamental laws of nature and the ultimate fate of the cosmos. It challenges us to understand the mechanisms driving the universe's expansion and the behavior of energy and matter over astronomical timescales. This pursuit of knowledge not only deepens our understanding of the universe, but also inspires technological and theoretical advancements that have broad implications beyond cosmology. On a more existential level, the notion of heat death can be both humbling and awe-inspiring. It reminds us of the vast scales of time and space that define our universe, highlighting the fragility and rarity of life. This awareness can foster a greater appreciation for the delicate balance that allows life to thrive and a sense of stewardship for our planet and its resources. In summary, the implications of heat death are far-reaching, affecting our scientific understanding, philosophical perspectives, and existential reflections. It challenges us to think deeply about the nature of the universe, our place within it, and the legacy we leave behind. Whether we view it with apprehension or curiosity, the concept of heat death serves as a profound reminder of the transient yet extraordinary nature of existence. The concept of heat death is one of many theories about the ultimate fate of the universe, and it sparked significant debate among scientists. While many agree that the universe is heading towards increased entropy, there are various perspectives on how this will play out, and whether it's the definitive end. One prominent alternative to heat death is the Big Rip Theory. This idea suggests that the universe's expansion could accelerate to the point where it eventually tears itself apart. Galaxies, stars, planets, and even atomic particles could be ripped apart by this relentless expansion. If dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe, grows stronger over time. The Big Rip could occur before the universe reaches a state of heat death. Another theory is the Big Crunch, which proposes that the universe's expansion will eventually reverse. In this scenario, gravity would overcome the forces driving the expansion, causing the universe to collapse back in on itself. This could lead to a highly dense hot state like the conditions of the Big Bang. Some scientists speculate that this cycle of expansion and contraction could repeat indefinitely, suggesting a cyclical model of the universe rather than a linear one ending in heat death. There's also the possibility of a big bounce. This theory combines elements of the big crunch with a new beginning, where the universe's collapse leads to a rebound into a new expansion phase. This model suggests that our universe might be just one iteration in an endless series of cosmic births and rebirths. Additionally, some physicists are exploring the idea of a multiverse. In this scenario, our universe might be just one of many, each with its own laws of physics and possible fates. While our universe might head toward heat death, other universes could have entirely different outcomes. This perspective broadens the scope of the debate and suggests that the end of our universe might not be the end of all existence. These scientific perspectives highlight the uncertainty and complexity of predicting the universe's fate. Heat death is a compelling and widely discussed theory, but it's just one piece of a larger puzzle. The ongoing debates and research in cosmology show that our understanding of the universe is still evolving and discoveries could dramatically alter our predictions. What remains clear is that the fate of the universe is a profound and deeply intriguing question. Whether through heat death, the big rip, the big crunch, the big bounce, or another yet to be discovered phenomenon, the ultimate destiny of the cosmos continues to captivate scientists and thinkers alike. This ongoing exploration reminds us of the vast mysteries that still lie beyond our current knowledge and the exciting possibilities that await future discoveries.